The Lion Voice for Game Company is don't attack gamers because they are your potential customers. Hello there, how's today? I'm Mika Kita there. So obviously today in the chat we are going to talk about how game companies should really not attack gamers. Because at the end of the day, when you are a game company, you obviously want to sell your game to customer. And who is the most potential customer of everyone who play game or buy games? Obviously, the gamers. So the one thing is, right, why I've been seeing quite a lot of people going around and talking about how game company attacking gamers and then kind of like free flop along the line and then by the end of the day they start crying because no gamers want to buy their game and when their sales go out still crying over it so yeah it's kind of, kind of interesting that even like the company ship baby in one of their employees going around and admitting that they just want to burn the game industry to the ground and they still don't understand why people don't like them so the thing is right is weird about that i mean like, i really kind of like talk about how gamers hater are now working in gaming industry it's like if they don't like us gamers then we, obviously when you say like was you don't like the game don't buy the game or why is that you guys are criticizing game company when they are trying to make a game yeah when people don't like the thing obviously they're gonna talk about it it's just the same thing as how they want to criticize gamers obviously gamers will have the right to criticize back so when you kind of like sit down and think obviously you are a game company you you are trying to make a game and what define a game it's not just because a game company create a game and that's why it's called a game a customer or mostly the gamers are the one who help to define the game because they play the game so if you create like spend like two million dollars ten million dollars or even four hundred million dollars on a game if no gamers want to play the game it is still a core game along the line i mean just because a game company created it doesn't mean anything all right because if there is no gamers wish to play the game obviously the show is going to tank obviously the game is is going to be so damn bad and even more so that lately even uh even like when they keep saying uh, like when game companies say that oh the game is accurate and pe when people s criticize it that it's not accurate you're lying you are uh and then you start attacking people over like oh we got historical accurate and then you found out that you you've been hiring quite a sultan quack historical for all the game stuff and then you it's like people is like laughing back <laughs> along the line so the thing is right when people are telling you people have been giving you sign people have been trying to be helpful and you start attacking them obviously what you're gonna get in return obviously backlash and when i say backlash it's really not just a simple backlash where you get racial by dislike along the line you know i mean like when i talk about how Ubisoft AC Shadow get be becoming the most hated game ever. Yeah, I explained a lot in that. You can check that out if you are interested. I'll put up the link to all the videos shown on the screen in the uh, description below. So if you want to check it out later, check it out. Or below. So the thing is, right, we kind of like get people, a, like if you want to criticize back the gamers, at least put up a valid point. The moment you start going around and saying like, oh, um, gamers doesn't like, it's just because we put fee pretty female it's because majority people are horny old man or horny old son along the line dude when there is actually female gamers who look not just pretty but because they are also gamers and they also can they are also known as cosplayer so the thing is right there are people who actually not only look good play game but they also cosplay and that like i mentioned in yesterday's video free marketing why would you want to attack those people it's like the moment they always go and like hold up a, like no longer holding a gun and shoot at their feet they are just freaking holding a cannon and shoot at themselves at this point of time it's weird because it, i mean like if you want to showcase like people it's just only like only like horny guy playing the game but when there is really like actual proof that games have female people who play the game because it's not because the character look cute look pretty along the line it's that there are people who like it and if they really like it and they want to cosplay it that's when one of the free marketing tiers came out they donate you to pay them they just cosplay it and when people look around and see hey why is this good looking character it looks so cute they will search it up or people will they will ask in comment section people will just say oh it's actually nick from like this one is from nikkei people will go and search up nikkei and it really kind of like showcase like sometimes this kind of thing is that 
when your character look good, everything, obviously people are gonna help you to advertise it. But when you go and attack them, you think people is gonna just help you to advertise? Yeah, right. People are gonna bash the game. People is gonna give you bad review. People is gonna uh, say that the game is bad. And even if you go around and saying like, oh, it's just because you gamers are hating the game company. Yeah. When you hate the gamers, obviously you're gonna get the same treatment back, alright? It's just not just because you go around and saying that, oh, company is on your allies, or, oh, we, we are a game company, what we create are games. Like I mentioned, what define a game is not just because it is created by a game company, but also because of the gamers. So if there is no gamers playing your game, it is still called a game? You're gonna have a game that is totally a huge flop at this point of time. So the thing is, right, it's really kind of idiotic that how many game companies have been going around attacking gamers, like saying like things that saying that you guys don't even know, or even going around and saying that it's ridiculous that every female character must look gorgeous along the line. Yeah. When you start attacking gamers and people don't like it, and I mentioned it's like People like the character, if it look good, people are going to cosplay it. There's nothing wrong with that. And it's kind of weird that a lot of game companies will just say, Oh no, it should not be looking good along the line. Yeah. I mean, like, it's really kind of like crazy that those kind of game developers are so out of touch that they don't even go around looking at the internet and seeing who are actual customer you're going to go around and say that we are catering to the modern audience we make out how many people at this point of time less than 300 people very very interesting so you're telling me that out of 3 billion gamers out in this world you're telling me that you're gonna cater your game to three less or even less than 300 gamers wow i guess at this point of time you are going to lose big when you can even make more from the huge audience over the so-called majority of what you would love to use the word modern audience so it's kind of weird that why would you cater to a small group when there is a huge fish up in the ocean i guess at this one of time when they say that stream is better than fish because at the end of the day in chinese the saying is actually mean but who hair a whole or basically in chinese word it's you see how come hey what was the thing again sorry me is yeah how sorry so basically you actually mean that even if there is nothing like you don't you don't have a fish at least if you still catch some shrimp that is still food but the thing is right at this point of time do you think the shrimp still tastes good maybe you like some shrimp sandwich or maybe you like to have a shrimp cocktail maybe those taste good but when you have a biggest fish out there why aren't you going after that like there's so many gamers out there you're attacking everyone and then you're catering to how many people at this point of time just a small little group wow damn i, I guess that when you start making a you loss and then you go around and stay things like oh we're gonna keep on attacking and because our and then when you start panicking over small seal dude it's back to the point of please buy the game please please you know like the game is very very cool must please buy the game along the line yeah when you start panicking people are not gonna give you a cap no people is gonna give you sympathy point no one is gonna give a damn cap because you start attacking them you're expecting that like, you slap people and then you tell you tell me that oh i'm sorry please come back how about i do the same thing to you and then you tell me will you react the same yeah so basically what happened that actually there is someone who is doing that apparently and apparently does bond ceo start attacking gamers in an unhinged article all because he couldn't bear the point of that his game actually tanks yeah thanks to the point that they actually got in themselves into the red and they have to lay off people along the line so the thing is right at the end of the day when you go around attacking gamers what is the result they are your potential customer you attend them you expect them to come back yeah no they're just gonna say goodbye sayonara and then zaijian along the line the thing is right it's weird that why would they start attacking gamers when they are your potential customer when they can help you to do free marketing when they can help you to buy merchandise like clothes everything i will talk about that in yesterday video about why look good looking game character really go and check out to that video link in the description below but at the end of the day when you add like stuff like dei also link in the description below 
when you do all these things, right, it's really kind of weird, like, why would you start attacking them? And then you cry, um, say that, oh, why are you guys not buying the game? When you say words like, if you don't like the game, don't buy the game, expect that a lot of gamers not gonna buy the game. More so when you have DI in the game, and all oh, the character is not looking good all to up to the gamer standard. So, yeah, at the end of the day, all these things is... When you if your game look good, if there is no DI, obviously if you even if you attack gamers, people is going to say, hey, maybe we're still gonna buy your game along the line. But when your character don't even look good when there is DI, and then you start attacking gamers, you expect people to come back and buy your game. You think who you are, stupid? Huh? Now who's the stupid one when your company start tanking along the line? Look at that spawn, crying like the CEO now crying like a like like I know his son saying like he's not happy. I know JT son like attacking C gamer in an unhinged article. At this point of time, how I look at it, I don't need to put up skill. I don't need to give any take. All I will just give one simple thing. There's a all those game developer attacking gamers, panicking over low sale. And now crying over it, why aren't gamers buying your game? Go to one corner, cry like a crybaby, and don't even think about why you, your game sucks. Because why? I'm afraid that you might not even be bearing with all our hates at this point of time. Even though when you say you hate gamers, maybe best option for now. Have a career change. But again, at the end of the day, that's just my speculative thought. Just a random chat at the end of the day. Whether you agree or disagree, you have your own point, your own view, your own opinion. Write in the comment section. We can discuss it further. If not, if you do like this video, don't forget to press the like button and subscribe for more random chat where I talk about stuff that sometimes makes sense, doesn't make sense. Or if not, you want to check out some video, all link in the description below, including Match GT side and Ref Sun along the line. But if not, at the end of the day, have a nice day or night.